Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, it was reported that actress Carrie Russell is in early talks to play a role, a mystery role, in episode 9 being directed by J.J. Abrams, which is supposed to come out next year, as of this time. And the role is supposed to require a lot of stunt training and action. And she first became famous for starring in this show named Felicity about a young girl in college, which was made by J.J. Abrams. So maybe that professional or, you know, personal relationship, you know, as friends, has carried over and continued over the years, and that's how she got a role in J.J. Abrams' next movie. I don't know how she got it, but maybe that's how. Because they're buddies. Fan theories are abounding about whom she could be playing. There are three main ones. Number one is that she's one of the Knights of Ren. You know, the Knights that Kylo Ren started, who, you know, when he started to break away from Luke Skywalker and the Jedi Order and went rogue, went bad, that she's one of those folks. Another theory is that she's Rey's mother, which means that she might likely be somebody who had hooked up with Luke Skywalker or with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Because Luke and Obi-Wan are the two guys who are most, you know, theorized as being you know, one of them being her father. So if Carrie Russell's her mother, she has to be somebody who got with one of them. Now, people are speculating that if it was Luke, that she would be Mara Jade. You know, in the Star Wars novelizations, Mara Jade is Luke's love interest, and she is a Force user too, and she's a very popular character from those books. And she could be. But the movies so far have tried very hard to get away from the novelization, so I could see how she could not be that character, because they just haven't followed that. Or she could be another Force user who was in a relationship with Obi-Wan, an original character they could make up for the movie. Or number four, she could be none of those people. Fan theories can be wrong all the time, especially really early in the, the news casting process. There was a while ago when Batman v Superman was being made, Jenna Malone, an actress, was dyeing her hair red and posting stuff on social media, and people speculated that she was playing maybe Barbara Gordon Batgirl or Carrie Kelly, the female Robin, she didn't play either one of those people. She wound up being like either a forensics person or a reporter who was only in the movie for like a little while. That I th And I think her scenes were cut <laughs> from the theatrical cut and just put on the, um, the ultimate cut that was on the, you could only get on like Blu-ray and DVD. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I will talk to you soon. Bye.